What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Grab a seat. Let's get to it. Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh, Molly. Now, for those who don't understand what's going on, Molly has basically told the world what's going on with her and Jalen. You know, um, a lot of people are making jokes, uh, you know, at the entertainment value of it and really been dogging her and she's been going through it and soldiering through and everybody's looking to get a reaction as they put her and Stephen A together, which we have every video on here that we have done, have told you nothing but the truth about the situation. There has been no lies. We told you about Jalen's situation. Um, you know, Jalen's a mother, a mama's boy, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, he was raised by his mom and his grandma, and he was very close to them, and now they're gone. And he's still feeling the effects of that. Molly has lost some people also in her family. There's a lot of turmoil um, that is developed. Not everything is based on cheating and sleeping around and all of that different stuff that people seem to gravitate to because they watch a lot of reality shows. Now, Molly's going to tell you in her own words, you know, some of the things that's been happening. So She's not huge on Instagram um, as far as making Instagram posts and all that because she's too busy working her job. She's been trying to fight this, you know, the stigma of being the pretty girl on the job and she's dumb and she has a lot of uh, misogynistic barriers to break down every day. So she's always in a defensive mode. Because she knows the type of workplace she's dealing with. She's dealing with sports. And some people believe men, you know, they know everything about sports. And a lot of women don't. So she steadily feels like she has to prove herself constantly and over and over again. So for y'all who wanted to hear what Molly thought about the situation and what's going on in a relationship, some of you might not know. It might be new here, so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page so you can be informed every time information is brought to your attention. Um, this came up, you know, why they were still kind of separated at the time and people didn't even know it. So I'm going to let you hear from Molly. We've lost. It's not a secret. Um, my husband works here. and We've lost five people in my family this year. <laughs> And I know what kind of pain he's in. And I know it's very similar to what you're doing. And to feel like you can't support the person and to feel shut out and wanting to do everything and seeing them hurting. So that's why I'm here. So I apologize to my family. I'm sorry that that came out on national television, but it's real. So as you can see, people, this is deeper than what you thought. It's not about what you assumed with all the cheating and everything else that normally goes along with a situation similar to that. This is a situation that is very delicate. Um, you know, this is a married couple and I'm quite sure they're probably at a point now where each side doesn't know how to help the other. And they would, some people like to push people away uh, when something like this is going on. Like, I remember when I was going through what I was going through, wasn't necessarily depression, but I guess I never went to a shrink, but they would have probably classified it as a depression. But my grandfather dying suddenly had an effect on me that had never happened before because... I never was prepared for nothing like that, and neither was my family, uh, and 
just to deal with that, you know, knowing that and walking back into that house, there was times I would forget he wasn't here early on, you know, like, like, man, I forgot my grandfather is not here. You know, you have to go through that process. And it was like the pain coming over and over again. It was like stabbing me, stabbing pain. And it wasn't like physical. It was stabbing like to my soul. You could feel it, like the hurt and the disappointment. So I had to soldier up because everybody else was sad. So I had to be the soldier to keep moving forward. And for them, losing five people, as she stated, that's going to have a very dramatic effect on everything that's moving, especially Jalen, seeing how much pain he was in, you know, trying to talk about, you know, his, his mother and all the stuff she's done um, behind the scenes and, and all the things that she did helping him. Throughout his career, you know, even his grandma, who was 90 in her 90s, you know. We all have to leave here one day. And as much painful pain as it is, you know, that was the correct order. The child is supposed to bury the parent. You know, and that's the way the order is supposed to receive. You know, parents should see their child, you know, perish. You know, that's a hard thing to be able to deal with, you know. And that kind of pain is hard to come back from or, you know, to even go through. So you always want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward and keeping people in your prayers and all that stuff. So, you know, um, just stay realistic. Also, you know, these are actual real people. Even though you see them on television, they're actually real people. They go through the same things that everybody, they got to eat food. They got to go take a dump. They got to go pee. They got to wash up. They got to get up in the morning. They got to go do their job. You know, they don't eat. I know what you're thinking. Everybody's rich. Well, if they stop working, I don't think they'll be able to pay their bills. So they just make good money for what they do. But it doesn't mean everybody is so well off that they're just going to fall off the wayside and everything is going to just take care of itself. It doesn't work that way, fellas, unfortunately. We've lost, it's not a secret, um, my husband works here and we've lost five people in my family this year and I know what kind of pain he's in and I know it's very similar to what you're doing and to feel like you can't support the person and to feel shut out and wanting to do everything and seeing them hurting so that's why I'm here. So I apologize to my family, I'm sorry that that came out on national television but it's real and a lot. it's it's life and it's and Jalen's comes Jalen comes to work every day yeah. and it's and been a really hard couple of years and yeah and he really does and um so I, again I, you're lucky to have amazing people in your inner circle that um encourage you to do that and i'm glad that you got the help and well, Jalen's lucky to have you i watch Jalen all the time because i'm watching him and i know i don't have to say a word to him i know what that brother is going through it's unreal this, this is the first time in my life that I didn't have my mother and grandmother on Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? And it's been tough. And it's really been tough for me and my family. But, but I'm gonna be strong now. You know, I got a lot of people that rely on me, a lot of people that love me, a lot of people that believe in me. So I'm gonna represent and mama make you proud. You know, like we fell in love with basketball together. You know what I'm saying? Like my father played in the league. And to not know, she was like, you're going to make it. You're you going to get us out the hood. I promise you. And I was like, I'm going to do it. Man. And I did it. And we did it. You did. Those weren't fake tears by neither one. This is real life, people. 
real life. They're going through real things. So I don't want people to say it's fake and they just faking for the cameras and it's just a show and you know, she just being a hoe and ready to go run around with the other dudes. It's not like that, bro. It's not like that. You know, sometimes you push people away. I did it because I felt that was the best way to heal. My best friend got murdered, you know, just a random night. My best friend get murdered. I had to get away from and be around people that, you know, get away from all the people that knew him. I had to get around people that didn't know him. So I can heal and get myself, you know, ready to face everybody again. I had to get away. I couldn't be around all the tears, the crying, and, and you know, people just, you know, emotional like that. I couldn't be around that. I could have probably done something stupid. So let me go and be around my family or people who really just didn't know them. And, and get out of town, basically, because... I couldn't be around it. Couldn't be around all that. I had to push people away so I could be able to come back and say, okay, I'm I'm right now. I'm strong enough to deal with it now. So it's tough. It's tough. Especially dealing with loss, man. And you never know till you gotta deal with it. You know, I never really knew. I felt sorry for other people, but you don't really know. Until you got to go through it. You got to be at that funeral. You got to be standing up there. And and doing all of these things. That you never planned on doing. Just a week prior. You know. It's, it's a tough. Tough. Tough situation. For anybody. And to lose people consecutively. Like in a row. It makes you think about your own vulnerability. And appreciate things a lot more in life so for them you know i just hope they get through it um it's gonna be tough man so like i said i always give you guys the real um sure we have some entertaining moments on the, on here but we always give you the truth when the truth starts showing his face or showing up we got to start telling you guys what's really going on now, everybody else is going to you know, sensationalize it all the way, and that's them. Us, we got to get it to you raw. We got to get it to you real. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the Patreon. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming on the Patreon. We have um, right now the Jay-Z situation. Telling you about Jay-Z when he was broke. While he was rich and playing rich, he was like industry broke for a minute. Yeah, he had to take a 360 deal the whole night. And a lot of people didn't know. So find out that information on what went down. That's on the Patreon right now. We talk about um, some black history. It took place, a uh, black teenager made history, 15 years of age, went and did something that the news don't even want to talk about. You see, this is why I said we got to be our own news. We have to represent for ourselves because nobody else is going to represent for us. Everybody with a camera, phone can report on situations and stories in their own neighborhood, might be in your own family, champion them. Every great moment, put it on your YouTube. Show it, share it out to the world. You are the news. Believe me, there's more people watching YouTube than watching the news. They're online. To where they're putting the news online. Because everybody's there. That shows you the power of the internet. It's always been there when they were ignoring it. And definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to the page. That's always necessary.
Yes, follow at Kwame Brown Bus Life uh, at HD Two Eyes TV. Welcome to HD Two Eyes and the TV. Um, then you got uh, Seahawks, Jose Rodriguez, his sports channel. Don't forget to subscribe to him. And definitely this channel here, Carcino for Life. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Cash app is Carcino. Super Chat works. And we out.